Coil Designer user interface can be broken down into five areas. The main menu and toolbar in the top left of the screen, the main viewing pane, the coil and setting status bar, the tube connections window, and the general properties window. Note that the main viewing pane, tube connections window, and general window are all comprised of multiple tabs, each of which we'll review in this video. First and foremost, a majority of the tools required to work within Coil Designer are located in the main menu and toolbar. As with many programs, user tools and options are accessed from this area, as well as the options to edit coil parameters or engage advanced simulation features like parametric analysis. The general window includes three tabs. The general tab, which allows users to show the project name and specify a user entered description. The fluid properties calculator, which allows the user to do quick calculations of air or refrigerant properties. And coil parameters, which summarizes the geometry of the coil. The tube connections window will show the tube connections of the heat exchanger and its appearance will change depending on the type of heat exchanger being modeled. For example, for microchannel and flat tube heat exchangers, this window becomes the header window and does not include an inlet and an outlet tab. For other heat exchanger types, the inlet and outlet tab within the tube connections window will show the specified inlet and outlet tubes in their condition. The coil and setting status bar is a single line at the bottom of the screen and summarizes the main settings for the heat exchanger, including its type, general geometry, refrigerant, property library, and solver conditions. These items were established in the new coil wizard when the coil was created, and most of these items can be edited using the edit parameters window. While the general window, tube connections window, and status bar serve as a reminder of coil settings, the main viewing pane is the primary work plane. The coil tab is where you must start after completing a new coil wizard. The arrows on the left hand side indicate the airflow direction over the face of the coil. Also on the left hand side is the segments view. Each of these boxes represents a segment along the length of the tube. Clicking on a segment allows you to enter the air side properties. Note that you can also change the airside properties by going to Project Edit Airside Parameters. Additionally, you can also hide the segments view from the view menu. This may be helpful when you're specifying your circuitry. The right hand side of the coil tab shows the tube end view or header view for microchannels and is where you can define the tube circuitry if you want to use the mouse click approach. Note that you can also define tube circuitry within the tube connections window. Once a coil has been run, a number of results tabs will be generated. The first results tab is the main view, showing calculated results in tabular and graphical format. Use the pull down menu to access the results that are of interest. The results tabs view also shows the same results as the main results tab but in a slightly different format and may be quicker for you to access for review. The Plots tab generates multiple graphs that are of interest and can be represented as a line graph or a bar chart. Note that these plots can also be copied to a clipboard. A 3D view provides a 3D rendition of the coil. This serves as a check for coil circuitry and provides visualization. Lastly, the final tab called tube end plot or heat exchanger face area contours for microchannel heat exchangers graphs parameters of interest for each of the heat exchanger tubes. Please see our other demo videos for additional features and details.